So the last deck that I have right now is the Moonology deck. And I got it because I love the moon so much. I've always been more drawn to the moon. Not that I hate the sun, because the sun is very important and vital to our planet and life. But I've just always been drawn more to the moon. Could be because of the blue, because I'm just strongly drawn to blue. But I'll do another flip through of the deck. Okay, I will let the moon be my guide. I like the moon. I can dig it. And I really like how they have the moon background in the bottom of the box. Because some boxes are plain. This one is not. Here's a little guidebook. It's like the Crystal Spirits want deck that had a guidebook. This one. But, yeah. It's so pretty. I love all the blues. But, has table of contents. So you can look eat and easily find what your card is and the information on it. It has an introduction, what the cards are for, blessing cards, wisdom of the moon, phases of the moon. I find it funny because I'm recording this on the new moon in Cancer. I just sort of thought about that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah. They, I just love the moon so much. Has some information about the elements. <laughs> Water, emotions, and cancer. That's today, new moon and cancer. And I just find it interesting that I'm a, a fire sign. Because I don't really feel like I associate with fire. But I'm a Sagittarius, which is falling under the fire sign. I think my friend thought I was a water sign, and then she's like, wait, Sagittarius is fire? I'm like, yeah, yeah. But she's an Aquarius, an air sign. So has information about car spreads. For people who want to learn more about it. And then it goes into the card description. So it'll tell you the card with a picture. Gives you a description. New moon. There's a yes coming your way. A new start is coming. Okay. Because that's today. Although we didn't pull that card, but today is the new moon. It has attunement to the moon. Additional meanings to the card. Teachings. And then it goes on to other ones. So that's the setup for the book. And information on each of the cards. I'm pretty sure... That's basically the rest of the book. But I'm pretty sure they have it in different sections. Like, that one was about the full moon. But. So, yeah. New moon cards. So those are all the cards associated with the moon, new moon. And then we have full moon cards. Cards associated with the full moon. Special moon cards. And then... Yeah. Has information about the artist and about the author. Then... Can do, there's also a thing for the mobile app. So, now we can get to the deck. I love the back, too. With the faces of the moon. So pretty. just love the moon. It had water. I love water, too. <sighs> that sky. Oof. Oof. I love these cards. No regrets buying it. Mm-mm. So pretty. <sighs> Man. So pretty. Hats off to you, artist. I think they said that the artist's name was Nynx. Yeah, hats off to you. These are majestic and breathtaking and beautiful. Oof. Oof. The eclipse colors. Man. So. 
so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. Thanks. Your art is incredible. Man. Hey, new moon and cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. Hear that, guys? We're all safe. Regardless of all, of all the craziness going on outside in the real world, we're safe. Stand in your power. <laughs> that, that crab is interesting looking. I love all the blue. Oh, look. It's Gemini. Hi, Gemini. This is so pretty. Love these cards. You are good enough. We are good enough, everybody. Hmm. Man. Wow. So pretty. Can't. goodness so pretty I got these cards based off of the box and the fact that I love the moon and there was lots of blue but man I didn't look at all these cards close enough I think I've only looked at a couple of them so I did I think I did a drawing one day just to see what I should focus on, and man, these are breathtaking. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay, I've been working on that. Man, blue moon. That's the one for the cover. Yay, blue moon. Believe in the impossible because it literally says I'm possible. Mm hmm. <sighs> Man, this moon. So pretty. Ooh, those waves. Man. So pretty. Hmm. These cards are so pretty. The new star is coming, everybody. New moon. These cards are just so pretty. Deep emotion for the pretty moon cards. Man. Man, oh man. They're so pretty. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm just swept up in the emotions of admiring the pretty, pretty cards. The breathtaking cards. And just my appreciation and gratitude for the author and the artist of this deck. Because, man. Oof. These cards... So pretty. And this is the last card. But yeah. Let the moon be your guide, everybody. I like the fact that there's 44 cards because if I remember correctly, 44 has to do with like angels and divinity being around you. Don't quote me on that because I'm still learning up on numerology too, but I'm pretty sure because I think that's why Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls did Angel Souls 444 because of the divine, I don't think that's divine masters because I think that's 33, but I'm pretty sure 444 has to do with angels and divine protection and all that. But yeah, those are the moonology cards. They're so pretty. I'm still swept up in the deep emotion for the appreciation of these cards and how gorgeous they are. But thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye!